Hey guys, I'm back and today we are going to discuss something about application skin and mix sets. Okay, so what exactly is application skin? Uh, let's say for example, you're preparing a PPT. Okay, everybody is aware of the PowerPoint presentations, right? So you're preparing a PPT. What do you do? You choose some template and you try to apply it across all the slides in the PPT. Look at my PPT. I just have taken a template with this blue and white and I have applied it across all my slides. Okay. And you follow a standard color, font size, font type, the bullets, everything you follow a standard across every slide in the PPT. Look at this. The headings are in blue, the bullets are arrows and this has specific font type and I have following this across all my slides. Right. So this is something like a theme or a template you follow when you're making a designing a PPT. Same is the case when you're building an application. Okay, now let's have a look at a flip card or any of the applications. Take, take flip card. So this has a blue theme. Okay, or a blue template. Uh, if you look at this, it is following some blue and white. The, you know, the button colors are same across all the screens. The font size and, uh, you know, the font type is across all the screens and flip card. Similarly, Mintra has a different template or a different style. Okay. And Go Ibibo has a different template and a different style. They follow it across all these slides. All, I mean, like all the screens in the application. That's what we call it as a skin. Okay. Skin is nothing but the way you present your content to the end user. Just like how you are designing a PowerPoint presentation or how you are designing a Word document, you follow a standard, right? You follow some font size, font type, background colors, themes, templates, and all this kind of stuff. Similarly, when I'm designing my application for my organization, I try to follow a standard, standard background colors, standard font sizes, images, borders, XYZ things. Okay, so for all the applications which I'm building in my organization, maybe I would like to follow a standard. That's called as application skin. Skin is nothing but the way you present your content in your application to the end user. Why do you need a skin? To, to make it look attractive, right? Would you, would you visit a website which doesn't have any background colors and font size and it's like, it's like a, you know, simple blog, nothing much attractive. Would you be interested to visit? No. So you want to attract the customers. You want to make it more, you know, com comfortable, more attractive. A look and good should be, you know, look, look and feel should be very good. So you want to have, look at this, an orange color button, a fancy color, a black, you know, blue background. They try to attract you. Same way, when you're building your application, you would like to attract your customers by giving some nice themes and templates in your application to, to make it attractive to the customers okay so that's a skin which contains all these things backgrounds font sizes font types borders and xyz stuff okay now application skin is nothing but way of presenting a content throughout the application now let me open the pega portal and show you where the skin for my application lies so if this is your application if you just click over here you will see something called a skin and when you click this, the skin rule opens like this. This is a skin rule. Okay, so this is where you define all the styles that you want to use across your application. Now, good. Now, how do you define it? So, in the application skin, you have something called as components. Components means like I was speaking, wow, what a fancy button, right? So components are nothing but you have buttons, you have text boxes, you have radio buttons, you have calendar icon, you know, there are many things in the screen, right? So you have drop downs. Okay, so components are nothing but those, those elements. Okay, so for each element you want to design uh, some something, some good presentation. So you will see all the components listed over here. You can see this buttons, radio buttons, checkboxes, autocomplete, links, menus, chart. So like this, all the components are listed within the skin. So skin is containing all the components. Now you pick a component and you decide how would you, like you want it to be uh, appearing across the application. Okay. Now let's say I would pick something like buttons. Okay. 
Now when I open a button, there are some default styles configured here. You can see that like, uh, this is how the border should appear. This is how the background should be there. You know, these are all colors. Background is having some color code here. And then height. Okay, then padding. So every component, you pick any component, everything will have a style defined. Okay, so either you can give your own styles or you can inherit it. From where do you inherit? So your application is built on some other application, right? So if you look at this application is uh, chargeback, which is built on. Just like how you inherit your rules from your parent classes or your parent applications, the same way you can inherit the skin from the parent apps. Yeah, my system is taking a little bit of time to load. Give me a second. Okay, uh, let it load in the meanwhile, uh, we'll keep discussing. So this will end of the day inherit from the Pega platform. Okay, so there are some in, in, in built skins in that. You can inherit the skin from there and you can reuse it. Okay, you can reuse it and you can define your styles. Now, in case if you want to create want to create your own custom style. Okay, we choose mix sense. You want to create your own custom style and you want to reuse it in multiple components. We create mix sense. So you have a tab called as Mixins. Go over here. Okay. In Mixins, you'll have four options. Typography, backgrounds, borders, and combinations. Okay. In typography is nothing but the way you want to style your text completely about the text. Because when you click on typography, you can see it's like the font family, size, color, you know, the font weight, all everything about the text you will find. Now when you go for backgrounds, you will see everything about it background is it says it just ask you a name suppose I'm giving uh, some name test BG it will show you everything about the background background colors and stuff so this way in the mix in you have four categories you can choose whichever you want to and you can define your colors and all these things solid or gradient based on that again you can choose a color okay so this way you can select something and you can save it so once the mixin is created i have created a new mixin called as butter style mixin you can see this button style mixin where i have given some violet color to the font okay and uh, the font weight is normal and i have given an underline uh, if you want, you can even increase the font weight to bolder. Okay, font size is 20. The font family is the Homa. So, like this, I have designed, uh, des designed some mixin and I have saved it. Now, once your mixin is ready, you can use it in any of the components. You can use it for a button, you can use it for checkboxes, you can use it for a hyperlink, you can use it for a text box. It's your choice. Okay, so end of the day, your mixin is embedded inside a, a format okay and used for a component so this is mix and right let it save it's saved okay the mix -in is ready now what next Okay, you have to uh, suppose you have to choose a control I have taken the button control or the button component in this you have something called as uh, formats okay so in the components in the formats okay I have chosen inherited format this is an existing format standard I want to override that currently it's using standard and all these formats so you choose anyone and you can override it so I have chosen standard okay and i have you you get a hyperlink here override it i clicked on override it and you can choose use mixin then you choose in the drop down you'll find the mixin button style mixin look at the preview so the color I have given was violet. I gave an underline. I gave the font size 20. So everything is getting applicable. Okay. 
so earlier it was something different right it was holding a link it seems to be a little lazy it's very slow okay earlier it was having a different style okay i have chosen button style mixin and this is what you see okay so what did i do i have opened the skin i created my own mixin and i'm trying to use it in any of the components of my choice first i have picked buttons and i added the button style mixin here now let me go with errors suppose i have taken errors okay and even in errors i would you see there is a use mixin and this is status error and now i would like to change it to my button style mixin so you create a mixin and you use it wherever you want in various components you can use it so i have given this now i'm saving it okay let me confirm if this got saved let's check the button i am in the button oh this is not saved let's change it and save it again the mixin seems to have changed this is the one right button style mixin okay let me resave it now let me create a case and see how the button is displaying and how the arrows are displaying with the new mixin okay now look at this i have two buttons here or three buttons here look at them they are the, the font color there is a underline okay it's all because of the mix in that i have applied on them okay so this way even if you get an error they are going to come in this font and then this uh, color and with the background that way they are going to appear okay so this is about uh, skins and mixins at just at a high level okay so it it's good to use mixins and skin uh, and I mean make changes in the skin as much as possible than using the custom css styles in your uh, ui okay oh I, i forgot to show you how did i configure this so once you put this here okay you have to make sure you are using it in your sections uh, let me open my section so this is the section where i have included a button okay when you're giving the presentation just make sure you're giving the uh, the control format whichever you have used here if you see this in my uh, for the button thing okay i have used standard control and i have overridden that okay so you have to you have to make sure like you're using the standard control suppose in case if you have created your own control format as well then try to use that particular format okay so whichever format or suppose if you have applied it on simple and not on standard suppose you go here 
okay you have an option right override it suppose I said override it okay I'm trying to use a mix in here I say use mix in um, let's use some other mix in other than button style uh, let's try something else which is existing um, maybe something this like completed text which is green in color okay I have used this mix in for simple right let me save this now I go back to my section instead of using standard control I use simple submit save your section just open any of the cases earlier it was this way right a violet in color and with an underline now I have used a different uh, control format there so let me refresh the case once have a look, look at this button it's green in color then why are these two in the old format this is because they were using that standard control format this is using simple control format okay as I made changes in the section this simple I'm referring to so I hope you are clear now so application skin is just the way of presenting your content in the application and application skin will have components like buttons text area text box radio buttons errors etc every component will have uh, this uh, mixins okay formats and mixins okay each component will have design format and mix, uh, where you can give individually you can declare these colors or you can create a mixin and you can reuse it in multiple uh, components okay so mixing is just a collection of styles like font color background color borders and all these things I hope you are clear now thank you so much